that it didn't show me the one with the crocodile. It didn't show me the hunter because those are Google Draw images. You cannot insert Google Draw images, which seems a little silly to me, but I can show you how it works. So if I go to my next slide, here I am, and I want to put a new slide, now I can click the plus and it will give me the same format. It will give me a click to add text, it will give me a blank area. So I'm going to do this, and again, here it goes. Now this time I want to insert the picture of the parachutist with the crocodiles. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive. I'm going to go to my OMG Pics. And here it is with the crocodiles. Now notice the icon here. This is a Google slot, uh, excuse me, a Google Draw icon. This is what it looks like as opposed to one, an icon. They're very similar on the runway or the roller coaster girl. Excuse me, here's the roller coaster girl. This one has an icon that is that that is that is used for JPEGs. So I'm going to click on the crocodile meets parachutist. Notice I am in Google, I'm in I'm in Google Draw right now. This is a Google Draw image. So I'm going to click on this picture. Notice the blue around it, it's been highlighted. These are resizing bars. I'm now going to copy this image. Command C. I go back to my OMG Google Slides, click on it once, and Command V. Now this image is way too big, so I'm going to resize it. I'm going to bring it up. Resize it just a hair more, and I should be able to center it. There's Yes, there's the red line. It is centered. If I want to resize it just a hair more, I can do that. And again, I can add some text here. So I now have this image of the girl on the roller coaster, and I'm going to center that also, make it look nice right there. Here she is. I'm going to make it just a hair bigger. I haven't added any text. I now have this one, and I'm going to put one more in, do a plus sign. This time I'm going back to that folder, that OMG picks, and I want to do the one with the great white shark. No, excuse me. I'm going to do the one with the lion meets hunter. So if I click on this, Google Drawing, Lion meets Hunter. I'll click on it. Resizing bars, selection bars, Command C. I'm copying it. Going to here. Here's the slide I want to put it in and Command V. Again, it's way too big. So I'll resize it. I'll bring it up. Try to get it close to the center. Resize it again. Bring it over, center it. Now I have four slides, and that's going to do it for me. I'll click here. Here's my title slide. Here's the slide with the little girl on the uh, roller coaster, crocodiles and the parachutist. And I think I made a mistake. I want to go back. I should have done the lion meets hunter. Whatever reason, it did not copy. Command C back to here, back here, command V, yeah, there it is. I got rid of the other one, little mistake there, I apologize. So I'm going to get rid of this one, I'm going to delete it, bring this up, center it, and we should be about ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is every everything I did in the June 29th, 1999, uh, Google Slides I'm going to do here. I'm going to start out with taking this slide and giving it a transition. 
And that transition is going to be a, right now it has no transition. So I'm going to give it a, I'll let it be a, a, a cube. Give it the cube. Cube's going to be on fast and medium. And I want to apply it to all my slides. So you'll notice over here, we all of a sudden we see the icon. And when I do present, this is what it looks like. Clicking here, clicking here, clicking here and here four slides hitting escape to get out now here i did not add any text and i might want to do that now so i can add text girl on roller coaster I think that's a compound word. Click period. So there it is. I can do the next one. Parachutist meets crocodiles. I could do some text here. Lion meets uh, hunter. Go back up to here. Now, could I add something here? Could I put in a shape with a call out? Now, we've done this. So this girl is putting she's going to be saying something going to put this here put it towards her give it a move it over a little bit give it a double click and i can put in text and she's going to say here here i go now i'm not crazy about this this green background so I can go up here and I can see the fill color is showing it to be green. I might want to give it maybe just even a light gray. So I'm adding that. If I want to have the people in the car saying something, I can go here, do another call out here, and the people in the car going like so, they're saying, I can't be leave what I'm seeing period and I want to make this bigger got to make it bigger move the yellow to here I can't believe what I'm seeing now can I add transitions here I can click click here I can add a transition here I can do a fade in or I think I'll have it do a fly in from the left on a click and this one I'm also I'm going to do a fly in from the right so when I go back here and I do a presentation this is what it looks like click there's a fly in from the left and a fly in from the right. So I think that pretty much does it. I think you're going to have some fun with this. Uh, it will be challenging. I've done it with other classes. And again, you have two choices. You can create your own Google slide by doing a in your Google Drive by doing a new Google slide, call it OMG. Your, your images that you want will be in your classroom. Remember, one is a JPEG that you can insert. The other ones will be Google Draws and you're going to have to open them up in Google Draw and do a command C and then paste. One thing you don't want to do is go into Google Draw and put in your call outs here. You could do that, but it doesn't work well when you go from 
Google Draw into your Google Slides. So make sure you put your text bubbles or thought bubbles in your Google Slides. Okay? So again, I hope this works out for you. I'll talk to you later. Any problems, don't be afraid to ask.